Golgoroth is the second boss of King's Fall. He's got a bit more health than your average ogre, about 10 million to be exact. Focus your rage on Golgoroth because he sure as hell is going to focus his on you. For group composition, the new subclasses continue to shine as the ideal, along with weapons of light defender titans. Helm of Saint-14 is not 100% necessary, but is always helpful. Stormcaller warlocks can help in later stages of the fight with their Storm Trance ability. Sniper rifles once again are overwhelmingly the best weapon for damage during this fight by significant margins, while heavy machine guns greatly outmatch rocket launchers. Having multiple titans in the pit for weapons of light and melting point, and night stalker hunters taunting with black hole shadow shots is probably the ideal, just be careful where you place those wards. You should split your group into multiple teams of multiple teams. The first set of teams is for ad control and should be split 3 and 3, 3 on the left and 3 on the right. The second set of teams is for boss damage where you have taunters and DPS. There should be 2 taunters and 4 DPS. I'll explain how that works shortly. There are four components to the Golgoroth fight. Add Control, Focused Rage, Pools of Reclaimed Light, and Totem of Ruin. The Totem of Ruin is behind Golgoroth and will light up any time a player dies. When six players die during the encounter, the Totem will be fully lit, and I can only assume that means bad things for your fire team. To start the fight, shoot the floating blue orb on the ceiling. It will drop down and Golgoroth will rise from the puddle of water. The fight starts out with waves of Thrall spawning from the back of the area downstairs. This is a mix of Thrall and Curse Thrall, but they are easy to get rid of. A few seconds later we'll see the spawning of Acolytes and Adepts. One Adept will spawn from each side door which should be killed immediately. Two sets of three Acolytes and one Adept will spawn from the two doors in the far back which should also be killed immediately. Finally, two more sets of three Acolytes will spawn from where the Thrall spawned just a few seconds ago, one set going left and one going right. During this entire time, Golgoroth will be active, so be sure to hide behind cover whenever possible. This phase typically does not last very long as the adds are pretty easy to kill. After all of the adds are dead, you can focus your attention on Golgoroth. Let's break down the individual components. Above Golgoroth are six orbs that hang from the ceiling. When shot down, they will create a pool of reclaimed light for a brief time, about 20 to 30 seconds. Standing in this pool boosts your damage to the point where you can actually deal real damage to Golgoroth, as not standing in the pool reduces your damage dealt to him by a significant amount. Golgoroth has a giant glowing spot on the back of his head. When shot a few times, Golgoroth will choose to focus his rage on the person who shot that spot for 20 seconds. While focused, Golgoroth will shoot Ogre Venom at that target. This Venom comes in the form of a set of three Void Balls which can and should be shot out of the air. Golgoroth will send about four to five sets of these blasts towards the target over the 20 seconds. If after the 20 seconds Golgoroth does not have a new target to focus, he will behave normally again, eye-beaming random players, and a new set of adds will spawn. The strategy works like so. Two players, one on each side, need to trade the gaze back and forth to each other while the DPS stands in the lower area in the pools of reclaimed light. The players who are taunting the boss need to make sure they position themselves so that the boss is facing the players standing in the pools down below so that those players can damage Golgoroth effectively. You can set this up however your team feels most comfortable, but it'll take a little practice getting used to. My team sets up on the stairs closer to the entrance. When getting ready to decide which side will taunt first, you should knock down the corresponding orb from the ceiling to generate the pool of light. My team usually likes to start with the first right orb, the one closest to the entrance, called R1, then goes to the first left orb, L1, the second right orb, R2, etc. For the very first orb, everyone should shoot it as the tanks prepare the boss for taunting. Once taunted, everyone should jump down into the lower area and start damaging the boss. Golgoroth's crit spot is his stomach. While down there, DPS must keep eyes out for Cursed Thrall that will slowly wander into the area and spawn from the doorways. They will end up being a problem if you're not careful, so pay attention. During this time, the person who has the boss's attention should be shooting the orbs that float towards them, while also updating the other taunter on how much time remains on the taunt itself. 
depending on how skilled your taunters are, the people taunting should also keep eyes on Cursed Thrall to help the DPS, and, if possible, be the ones killing the orbs, that way you can maximize damage output. Here's how a clean phase plays out. Hey, nope. Alright, I will bow on the on, on my yep. second orb. Damn. Alright, we're doing right. Damn, you won this okay, round. Yes, right side, right side. Everyone work on my orb. Pull it. Okay, and shooting now. Got him. Got him. Melting point only burst. Oh. That was me. Fifteen. Which pops mine? Ten. Way too early. Five, four, three, two, one. Good. You guys shoot. I'll work on curse. Just keep. Quit bouncing around the junction. Reloading. Uh, Six, five, four, taken. three. Taking bubbles right up in front of me. Got it. Yo. Finish oh. off your orb. Yep. Got dead, it. Dead, dead, dead. Okay. 13. 10. How? Lots of how. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay, taken, taken, taken. Boeing. At around 10 seconds remaining, I unleash hell on my orb with a heavy machine gun for as long as I can. If I can kill it, great. If not, I tell the DPS to finish it off. If you as a taunter are having trouble bringing down your orb, alert the DPS immediately so that they can help as they move. With about 2-5 to five seconds remaining on the other person's taunt, I taunt Golgoroth by shooting him in the glowy spot. Note that you should continue to shoot at the back of his head for as long as you can. Do not assume that a couple of shots or a burst from a pulse rifle will always be enough. You should shoot with around 2-3 to three seconds remaining, that should give you ample time to taunt. Note that with dealing with the Venom Blasts, the clearer your line of sight with Golgoroth's stomach, the better. When line of sight is broken or not great, the orbs tend to fly all over the place, making them a little more difficult to hit. The following will cause Golgoroth to spawn adds. 1. The focused target dies, or 2. You do not taunt him. The only reason you should not taunt is because you have run out of orbs to shoot down. If the focused target dies, Golgoroth will satisfy his hunger and will return to normal, which is not good if you have 4 players in the pit, as he'll probably immediately do a ground slam, killing a lot of you. This process repeats itself until he dies. However, at 25% health, Taken Thrall will spawn instead of Hive Thrall, and they will continue to spawn until Golgoroth dies. The Taken Thrall will replace the Cursed Thrall that spawn, and the Taken Thrall will spawn in greater numbers. Stormtrans works very well here, as does Helm of Saint-14 to blind. It will be somewhat chaotic dealing with all of those components at once, but it's just something that you need to handle. Overall, the Golgoroth fight is about clear communication and clear execution. Making sure orbs go down in a timely manner, along with having your DPS wail on Golgoroth, will be crucial to success. Sniper rifles can do upwards of 110 to 120,000 damage per shot depending on what kind of buffs you have available, so make sure to abuse them, especially with the newly discovered Black Spindle if you have one. Golgoroth can be taken down in as little as two taunt phases with average weapons, so be sure to bring the heat. That is your Golgoroth strategy guide. Have fun getting past the next platforming puzzles, and I'll see you at the next guide.